The Haley O Show. Every Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Only on balls.co.za. Nick, are you there? Hi, Haley. How are you doing? Can you hear me? Yes, we have contact. Thank you, Sasha, for working your magic here on the desk. Um, so I saw traveling in India might be a bit of a nightmare, but you were ready at exactly 11.40 when you said you would be. <laughs> well, let me judge. Uh, <laughs> Where were you flying can, into this it can, morning? It can be hectic, the traffic and things, but the infrastructure has really improved so much in the six years I've, I've been coming to India. There's now some kind of a highway from the airport in Hyderabad to where I stay in the funny old hotel uh, in town. It's quite funny driving on a highway here because these guys have never driven on a highway. I mean, that's, <laughs> They're all professional drivers, but they're so used to traffic that they've, they've never gone faster than 40 or 50 kilometers an hour before. <laughs> and now they have these open four-lane highways, and they've got no idea about which is the fast lane, the slow lane, and uh, it's just quite funny. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm glad you got there safely. Yeah, how things in Johannesburg is just getting cooler. It seems to always be cold and wet when I'm speaking to you. Speaking to you. Yeah, miserable day here in Joburg. Um, are you, is it boiling over there? I saw a tweet from AB saying it was perfect weather. Well, uh, he probably likes it hot. It, it, it's about 35 degrees every day. And sure. uh, it's usually okay unless, unless it's really humid. It gets hot over the next month. Funny thing about this tournament is that it's played at a time limit. They used to not play any cricket here. It, it, it was deemed too hot for cricket. But because they just wanted this tournament to happen and had to find a way for it to do so, uh, it, it happens in the exact hottest months of the year. So it's tough on the players. Yeah, for standing outside in the sun for all those hours. Yeah, the cheerleaders are complaining to me that their makeup melts. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, when you're getting, getting paid that many millions of dollars, you can suck it up, eh? Yeah, they're doing all right. They're talking about getting paid millions of dollars. I, 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 I had a chat with Chris Morris, who's uh, from, from the Lions from Johannesburg. Yes. And uh, I mean, he was struggling along in, in South Africa, just earning a normal salary as a, as a doing okay professional cricketer. And then he, he had a few good games in the Champions League and was noticed by the Indian selectors and the guys who own these teams there. And he was picked up at auction before he'd even played a game for South Africa or anything, you know, he'd just been doing okay for the line. And he was picked up uh, on auction and now earns something close to a million rand. So he's got something close to a million dollars. Million so dollars. Million dollars. Yeah, six, seven, or, seven or so million rand a year just to come in for six weeks. And Crazy. he's got a three-year contract. So he did that three years in a row. So he's just saying that he's, he's never seen so much money before. <laughs> Jason, he's never played a game for South Africa. He has actually now played a, a 2020 game or two, but oh, okay. you know, not that well. I mean, he, he, he sort of proves himself, but he bowls fast. And tell me, do you know how much of this of the money do these guys actually get to get to take home once they've been taxed and they've paid their managers and they've paid their agents and that kind of thing? I, I don't know, but I think most of it. I don't think they're taxed too heavily on it. Uh, okay. I, I, I don't know, but I mean, I, I guess if you're if you're getting seven million rand for doing what you like doing, you don't you don't mind if you have to pay a million or two for that. <laughs> sure, sure, of course. So tell tell me, um, you doing a bit of travelling of your own at the moment? Is that right? Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing well. I like getting around. Uh, it, it's always fun in India. There are there, there can be some hassles along the way. Uh, I think the English gave them a love for paperwork and uh, <laughs> booking a train ticket at, at the train station yesterday took me an hour and a half which was infuriating oh, God. going from queue to queue because they didn't have the right papers and, and it's un, un, unreal I just the hotel I've just arrived to check in actually they, they have about six forms to fill in too which, which can get to you when, you, when, you, when you're doing it often oh, and, my and don't try and bring a don't try to bring your girlfriend to this hotel because they won't let you share a room unless you have a marriage certificate. <laughs> oh, you're joking. Are you serious? But uh, that, that's unusual here, though. They, they, they tend to be okay uh, and have different rules for foreigners. But Hyderabad is slightly more fashion town. And, and it's one of the few cities in India that has as many Muslims as Hindus. Oh, interesting. As many Muslims as Hindus. Yeah, and they tend to be more conservative. So it's an interesting place, Hyderabad. Uh, it's not it's not a place tourists normally would come to, but uh, it, it has a fascinating history. And are you there? Are there any games there, or do, are you going there just for yeah. your own interest's sake? 
Yeah, there's a game. There's a game here tonight. Um, the the Hyderabad team used to be called the Deccan Chargers, but they were certain to be kicked out because they weren't paying paying the correct fees to the IPL. So their ownership changed, and they kept most of the same players. And okay. Dale Sand plays for them. Okay. As, as does Quinton Quinton de Kock, who's only a, eighteen or nineteen or something, and uh, he's from Johannesburg. She's such a nice gig then. Yeah, and it's, uh, he's only played one game here. Kumar Sangakara, the uh, great player from Sri Lanka, making way for him because he can only have two foreign, four foreigners on each side. Uh, but sadly, he only made two runs in his first game, so I mean, we can hope that he does better, better today. Sure. And were you at the uh, game last week between the Rajasthan Royals and the Mumbai Indians? Uh, it's, hard to remember. <laughs> it's hard to remember which games I've been at. There's so many, and they kind of do blur into one. But yeah, I, I think I probably was. I think it was a game in Mumbai where, they, where Mumbai batted well. <laughs> we going okay. we but, spoke to you yeah. last week and it was rather rushed. Maybe just for people who didn't hear, hear us chatting to you last week, you can maybe just give us a few words on what the vibe is like at these games. Well, it's mad. I mean, the tournament is just far too long. Uh, it's a great concept and, and, and it's brilliant because of all the money, it's changed cricket. You know, it's, it's really raised the standard of of, of uh, the way we play cricket, and uh, it, it, it's a phenomenal thing. Uh, so many people watch it; a few hundred million people maybe even tune into it. So that's sure. where all the money comes from, from the ads. And so. uh, but two months is probably a little a little bit long. It is very and long. It's, it's hard to keep the momentum up. But but I think I can report that a third of the way through, uh, every stadium is still packed. Wow. Another thing that's been nice about it is it used to be in India that only men came to games uh, and the stadiums were horrible. And now the stadiums have all been upgraded and, and it's brought cricket place for women and, and children into the game. And oh, now a family nice. thing to do, you know. Instead of going to the movies, you might take a girlfriend to, to an IPL match <laughs> or, uh, on a date. Okay, oh, that, that's quite nice to hear. And tell me, like you said, the yeah. tournament is two months long. Um, it's very easy to, like, it's very easy to think that the IPL isn't even happening in South Africa because, I mean, there's so much other sport going on that, you know, has a bigger audience. Sure. Is it possible to escape yeah. the IPL in India or is it just no, kind no, of no. all-consuming no, and no matter no. where you go, it's cricket? Oh, yeah. Everywhere you go. I mean, our, our Indian princess granny is still up watching every game until midnight. Uh, and some, some days there are even two games a day. Sure. If you walk around the street, you know, every little shop, uh, on the side of the road, got a TV going, and a big crowd of people who don't have a TV themselves. You know, really? Things, all, all, all standing around, just having a tiny peek over people's shoulders with a little black and white box somewhere. <laughs> you know, they just re- really are crazy on it. And uh, um, I mean, I guess it's yeah. No, sorry, carry on. You guess? No, I just guess because it's unpredictable and fast. And they, you know, Indians are so mad about the Bollywood thing, and they they mm-hmm. they interlink. Bollywood with IPL and the teams are owned by Bollywood stars. Sure, so they're kind of riding on each other. Yeah, so these guys are starstruck by two things and that's Bollywood and Cricket and to have them both it's uh, too much. One thing is, 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 is too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, they get terribly excited. If you were to try and get us excited about the IPL this year, what what would you what would you say? I mean, it's great to hear kind of the inside, the inside info and get a bit of insight into the tournament. But, I mean, for people who haven't got into this year's tournament, kind of, what would you say the hooks are? Well, it's fun to follow the South Africans. There are 16 of them. Um, and they, they haven't been doing well, as well this year as, as usual. But A.B. A. B. De Villiers the other night in a tied game. When a game is tied, then they play something called a super over. Yeah, that's always good. One over. Yeah, and AB has two sixes in a row, which is great. So that, that, that was fun. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think that, that it's, because it's unpredictable makes it fun. But I, I do know what you mean. It's hard to choose a team when you're far away. And, and, and another thing they do, which is silly, is that every three years, all of the players are auctioned again. So, <laughs> you know, just got used to supporting your Mumbai Indians to, You've got to know the team and like them, but then three years, after three years, the whole team changes. Imagine they did and, that uh, with like Man and United and Arsenal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, re- they reshuffle the cards. And but, uh, even with the teams being much the same this year as they were last year, the results have been really unpredictable. Like last year, Delhi uh, finished top of the log. This year, they've lost 
four sets for that first six game. Okay, so you it's anyone's game, win. really. Yeah, you probably they probably have to win all ten of their remaining games to uh, to make the semi final. So it's anyone's game, yeah. Maybe you've got to start betting on stuff to to really get involved. <laughs> it's just a bit unpredictable. Uh-huh. You can't really even consider the conditions, or I don't know. It's just a bit too tricky. And uh, um, uh, it's, it's, it's mind-boggling what happens. You know, there was a game the other night, two nights ago. Where Pune, Pune, which sounds a little rude of a name. <laughs> Pune was certain to 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 beat to, to beat uh, Hyderabad, and they just needed something like you know fifteen runs or five overs, but six wickets in hand. You know, they they couldn't lose. And they lost six wickets for seven runs. They lost the game. Uh, with an admission of taking a hat trick the last three balls of the game. So you, you just can't tell. You know? I mean, it's, it, these results seem too strange to be true, but it's, it's fun to watch. That's what I know. But now, with results like that, I have heard the rumours of match fixing. Um, what are your thoughts, thoughts on that at the IPL? Well, if there is any, it would be great if they could catch them, but I, 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 I just don't know, you know. We, we, we only can guess. I guess with all sports, when sport is unpredictable, whenever we see somebody who you expect to win, lose, the people shout six. But I, I like to believe that it's that it must be true. So you would err on the side of that it's it's just an unpredictable game, it's 2020 cricket, yeah, and, I, you know, things can happen I like so. that. I mean, you, you, you guys are earning lots of money. So it's, it, it's hard for them to risk. You wouldn't think they'd want to risk like trying to earn another fifty thousand dollars or something. That's true. To, yeah. uh, to do badly when you're already getting lots of money, and if you get caught, you might you might lose your whole career. You know. Sure, sure. Okay, yeah. cool. So what? You, you know about Hyderabad where I am? Yes, please do tell us. Okay, so the diamonds and pearls come from Hyderabad, and so does biryani, the food which we like eating. Sorry, food. Nick, can you? Can you can you rice and Nick. Stuff in it. Nick, is it possible to, um, I don't know, go closer to your microphone or j- turn your volume up at all? I, sure. You're just really soft. Sorry, you were saying diamonds and pearls come from there? And what kind? Off. Yes, that's better. And what kind of food? Okay, biryani comes from Hyderabad, which you, you, you see in Indian restaurants. <laughs> it's uh, sort of rice with a, a bit of curry and vegetables and sometimes meat in it as well. But that, that's a bit boring. But pearls and diamonds are not, are not boring. <laughs> and there are lots of those here. But the, 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 there's a very fascinating story that most people don't know about. The last Nizam of Hyderabad, they were the royal family who ruled here. Yeah. And uh, the, the last one, it, it all stopped, I guess, in the 70s or something, but or 60s maybe. But the last Nizam of Hyderabad was the richest man in the world for a very long time. Oh, yeah? And the richest family in the world. He had 86 mistresses <laughs> and over 100 illegitimate sons. What? And his paperweight was a a diamond that was worth a few hundred million pounds but he oh. refused to spend more than a few pennies on himself the fascinating guy crazy anyway after he after he died not too long ago like something like 30 years ago probably his estate's been handled so badly that there is not one cent left oh. it, 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 they all just robbed they all just robbed the money from him that people left in charge of managing it oh, no. and uh, his 470 descendants a few years ago, were, were were fighting over the last one million pounds left in a bank in London. So they haven't it's, it's reached his riches at all. No, no one got a thing. Yeah, it was all stolen. But it, it's a it's a sad and fascinating story, and it's fun going to see his palace. My oh. sister's coming to visit me here next week. Okay. And talking about in talking about it, uh, Indian uh, bureaucracy and the difficulty difficulty of, of getting things like paperwork done. She's been to the uh, visa office twice this morning and they keep sending her away because she hasn't signed one thing or got one oh, thing gosh. done. But when you do manage to get there, there it's, it's, it's great fun. I think you should write a travel guide. I mean, having been to India 18 times, you, you seem like, you know, you seem like the expert <laughs> and your sister's lucky to be traveling well, around with you. It'll be fun. But yeah, I do get I do get requests from people every, every day asking me, hey, should I go to this place, you know, bless the this place. But it's fun. It's fun. Anything I can do to encourage anyone to come here uh, is a pleasure. Well, Nick, we'd love to chat, uh, catch up with you again next week on the show, and you can impart more of your knowledge of India. Will you still? Will you be? You'll be travelling with your sister next week. Is that right? I'll, I'll be here and look forward to it. Hopefully, some South Africans can do some brilliant things to talk about. Okay, let's. Hopefully, we'll be able to chat about some good results. Okay, keep well, Haley. Very nice to chat. Okay, have a good week, Nick.
Bye. Cheers. Bye. Right, that's Nick Sadlia over in India at the IPL. Really the guru on India. So we'll catch up with him each week and see what else he's been getting up to. Hear about the the bureaucracy that is traveling in India. Right, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed the show this Friday. Have a great week. The Haley O Show. Every Friday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Only on balls.co.za.